Hello there, students. Welcome to a new unit, Unit A, Society and Social Problems. This is the first lesson, and it is of vocabulary, and it is addressed to first back students. So let's start. So the first thing we are going to start with is we will try to come up with a definition to society. So in your opinion, what is society? So a society is a population of humans characterized by patterns of relationships between individuals that share a distinctive culture and or institutions. So if you take a closer look to this definition, you will see, you will notice that there are some key terms. They are population, relationships, culture, and institutions. So by population, we mean people, okay? And relationships signify the interaction, the social harmony, and culture is the way of life okay and uh, it means the arts the crafts the beliefs and everything that people that people have as a way of life is called culture and then institutions which means the the legal side of things but the question is is everything okay in society Sometimes there are some problems, some phenomena, okay? And this is what we are going to, to talk about. So let's start with, with this picture. This is what? This is a house or a home if emotions are involved, means if there is family. Let's take another picture. Look at this man here. He seems to be living in the street which means he has no no home he has no house okay so we call this person a homeless person okay this person is homeless he does not have a home and this phenomenon is called homelessness homelessness okay homelessness very good let's move on Look at these people, outnumbered people in one boat and they, are seem, they seem to be leaving their country and going somewhere. Do you think this is a legal thing to do? No, it is illegal. Therefore, we call this phenomenon illegal immigration. Okay, illegal immigration. Next one, okay, here it is kind of comparison between this old man here and this boy. There's a difference in the two pictures, right? The way they dress, look, this person here is wearing low clothes and long scarves and pants and t-shirt. And he's using a book as a source of knowledge. This boy is using, he's using a laptop. So there are differences. So this is an old generation and this is a new generation. Okay, so the difference between these two generations is called generation gap. Generation gap, okay? The gap, like here, the void between two generations. Okay, the difference between two generations. Nice, let's move on. Look at this neighborhood this slum do you think that the people living here are rich I don't think so they are poor poor and the noun that would best describe the situation is poverty poverty and look at this man here he seems to be enjoying himself he is driving the car and he is driving fast but this is a problem also it is 
a serious problem because it causes deaths, accidents. Okay? We call it joy riding. Okay, joy riding, which, which means driving the car at a very high speed. Let's move on. Look at these, uh, these uh, young people here. They seem to be enjoying their time. But this person in this wheelchair is looking at them, but he cannot join. Do you know why? Because he is handicapped. Okay, he is handicapped. So handicapped people are another phenomenon which needs help okay this category of people needs help and support so they will not fall down because they are disabled look at this person here whoever it is he seems to be going to work right what about this person who is sitting on the stairs he is looking for a job Okay, he is looking for a job, which means he does not have a job. So he is jobless. Okay, he is jobless or unemployed. And it is another problem in society which we call joblessness or unemployment. Okay, these are nouns and these are adjectives. Let's look at this person here. What's he doing? He is being aggressive. Okay, he is going, doing, uh, being aggressive against this woman, and this happens unfortunately in many homes. Okay, and this is what this is violence, but at home, so we call it domestic violence. Domestic violence, and in domestic violence, not. Women are not the only subject. A man can be a subject to domestic violence and a child can be a subject to domestic violence. So, and it is a serious social problem. Now let's recap. Okay, so this is homeless person, homelessness, and the difference between these two is called generation gap. And the person who does not have a job is jobless and domestic violence. And here we have joy riding, and these people here are immigrating, so illegal immigration and handicapped people and poverty. Poverty. So these, the, all these problems, we call them social problems. Okay, social problems. So now it is time for some practice. So the first exercise says, match the words, match the words with the pictures. Generation gap, handicapped, and joy writing. So here we have pictures, the first, the second, and the third. Okay, so generation gap. Which picture describes more generation gap? Yes, it is the second picture. So look at this old man here and this young boy, the way they dress and everything is different. Okay, so this is a generation gap. And handicapped people or handicapped. Yes, it is the third picture. Okay, the third picture describes handicap. This is a handicapped person on a wheelchair. And joyriding is the first picture. This, this person here seems to be going nowhere fast. And he's putting himself and others in danger. The second exercise. Fill the gaps with the right words. Most of the problems between parents and children are due to something that exists between them. 
The second, another group of people that needs our help, they are the something, they live in the streets. It is a shady responsibility to take care of the these are disabled people who find difficulties to do ordinary tasks. Good. So let's correct the first one. So most of the problems between parents and children are due to the generation gap, the differences in, in the two generations, the way they think and everything. Okay, so that causes sometimes, in some cases, it causes some problems between parents and children. When parents expect their children to act in a certain way and children have other thoughts. <clears throat> the second one, another group of people that needs our help, they are the, the homeless. Why? Because homeless people are the ones who live in the streets. Very good. Let's move to the, to the last one. It is a shared responsibility to take care of the... What word we should put here? So they are disabled people who find it difficult to do ordinary tasks who are the handicapped. Good. Okay, so this is the last of the... The last... Uh, the last task. And I hope that you have enjoyed the listen. And I hope that you have understood most of the words. And take care of yourselves. See you in the next lesson.